Hello, Tony Gaddis here, and I've been an animator in the video game industry for around 21 years, and I'd like to show you how I plan an animation before I start it. Like, we're going to have a little monster character standing here. And this is our, our first pose. I'm going to scoot him down just a bit. Okay, this is... We can call this A pose, or one, or whatever. So we are going to copy him and paste him over here. This is all on one layer, one sheet of paper, basically. This is our B pose. And this is where we want him to go. We want him to go from A to B. So how do we get there? I'll just start with the things that come like right off the top of my head. Like he could walk over there, he could run, he could jump, he could slide, he could crawl, he could sneak, mm, he could dance. Okay, so now I'm trying to think uh, of other way. So he could roll. He could flip over there. He could moonwalk. So what this does is it forces you to maybe come up with something that you hadn't thought about before and kind of stretch your imagination. He could fly over there. He could melt. Like he could go into a puddle and then ooze across the ground and then come back up. He could teleport, like that one. Uh, but you know, maybe maybe it could be more magical, not just disappear and reappear. You know, oh, I don't even know how to spell magic. There we go. Okay, so we have our list, and now the next thing we want to do is create. Thumbnails. So we're going to pick something from this list, one of, one of these ways to get from point A to point B, and then create thumbnails uh, to help us plan out what that might look like. And it'll help us get a feeling for our character as well. So I think I want to do a slide. So I'm thinking... He's standing here, so I'm just going to create these little thumbnails. They don't have to be fancy. We're just trying to plan out our animation. So his hips will drop, his arms will come up, and his foot will go out. And then he could zip. He's like Zips across, and, and this could even be like a, a smear frame, a blur. Because it's going to be so fast. So I just kind of want to thumbnail that out, what that might look like. And when he stops, maybe his feet stop first, but his body and everything else is like, doing. It's like reverberates, you know? So I could just show that like uh, like this. So it's like doing, and he settles back to his like a, a starting pose, right? But uh, in the B spot, and we can make a note. Uh, this could be on ones. So we're gonna do one drawing for every frame. Uh, this action, I could hold, hold his anticipation. Maybe make a note. This is the start. Hold, zip, and then doing. So I have an assignment for you. You can use my little monster character with the floppy nose and the, the horns and pick one of the actions from the list we just created and animate him 
going from point A to point B. Here's the little animation that I made and I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. So until next time, take care.